introduction i am priyanka bidla from electronics and telecommunication engineering and today we are going to solve the example based on delta 2 star conversion this is the learning outcome of this video lecture at the end of this session students will be able to analyze and simplify complicated circuits using delta 2 star conversion these are the contents of this video lecture specifically we will be concentrated on what is delta network what is net star network expression for uh, delta 2 star conversion and at the end of the lecture we will see example based on delta 2 star conversion first of all we will see use of delta connection in electrical circuit so what is the use of delta connection so delta connection is generally used in distribution networks since insulation required is also less it is used for shorter distances and in applications which require high starting torque then what is the importance of delta to star conversion here both actually star to delta and the delta to star conversion allows us to convert one type of circuit connection into the another type in such a way that we can analyze the circuit easily in some complicated circuits we cannot be analyze the ohms law then kvl law or kcl law so at that time using star to delta or delta to star conversion we can analyze the circuits let us move towards to the delta network so here this is the figure of delta network here the circuit elements are connected in such a way that they form a shape of triangle or delta here a b and c are the nodes of the network and r a b r b c and r a c are the connected in between these three nodes then this is star network here you can see in this figure the circuit elements are connected in such a way that they form a star shape so its name is star network now let us see delta to star conversion so this is delta network we want to convert in star network now we will see the procedure for the conversion so here the first step is what you have to draw the star network into the delta network so if you have to draw this star network into the delta network it looks like this before moving towards for the conversion of delta to star network pause this video for few seconds and you have to recall formula for conversion of delta to star network yes you have to observe the figure and then you have to write down the equations for this so first is r a plus r b so r a plus r b are the elements of the star network so r a b is parallel with the r b c plus r c a so here these two are, uh, these two connections are in parallel so you have to apply the formula 1 upon r a b plus 1 upon r b c plus r c a so after doing the cross multiplication we are getting r a plus r b is equal to r a b in bracket r b c plus r c a upon r a b plus r b c plus r c a so this is equation 1 so similarly you have to write down the equation for rb plus rc so rb plus rc is equal to rbc in bracket rca plus rab 
upon R A B plus R B C plus R C A. So this is equation number two. Then write the equation for R C plus R A. So here this is the R C plus R A is equal to R C A in bracket R A B plus R B C upon R A B plus R B C plus R C A. This is equation three. Now, adding equation one, two, and three, we will get this equation. So, after simplification, we will get R A plus R B plus R C is equal to R A B into R B C plus R B C into R C A plus R C A into R A B upon R A B plus R B C plus R C A. That is. Total resistance. So this is equation four, and this is equation two. Now subtract equation two from equation four. Then we get we will get this equation. Yes. Now you have to do the calculation, and some terms are cancel out. So after cancelling the terms, we will get the final value of R A. R A is equal to R C A into R A B upon R A B plus R B C plus R C A. Okay, then by subtracting equation three from equation four, we will get the value of R B. So R B is equal to R A B into R B C upon R A B plus R B C plus R C A. Similarly, by subtracting equation one from equation four, we will get this equation. That is R C is equal to R B C into R C A upon R A B plus R B C plus R C A. now if we want to find any arm of the star network from the delta network so this is the standard equation so with the help of that we will find out the any arm of the star network so any arm of the star connection is equal to what product of two adjacent arms of delta upon sum of arms of delta these are the standard equations we have calculated already so these equations are used for solving the problem let us see the example of delta to star conversion so here find the equivalent resistances of star network which are equivalent to that of delta network as shown in this following figure so this is delta network and the value of the elements are given so you have to convert into the star network and find the arm values of the star network so this is the solution here these are the standard equations so with the help of this we will get the values of the respective arm of the star network so the actual values means the given values of the delta network you have to put into the equation and then we'll get the values of the star network so here we are getting the arm values of the star network that is r a is equal to 30 ohm then r b is equal to 18 ohm and r c is equal to Six ohm. So in this way, we have to convert delta to star network, and with the help of that, we have to find out the values of the arm values of the star network. And this is the last step of the delta to star conversion. So at the end of the example, you have to draw the diagram, draw the network. What is delta network? And after calculation, you have to draw the star network. 
these are the references of this video lecture thank you